Hi my angels, it's Ivette. So today I am doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I used a bunch of different products today that I got from PR. So everything is pretty much first impressions. Again, I know that you guys like these first impressions videos. So I can show you guys the things that I do like and the things that I don't like. And also, yes, I did do my hair a different way today. And if you guys are interested in this look, I do have it listed down below. Surprise, I know I never film hair tutorials, but I did today. So other than that, if you guys are interested in seeing how I did this, this makeup then just keep on watching so I'm gonna dip right into this big bag of new products that I have as for my brows I use the new NARS brow pencil I honestly like it it's very pigmented very creamy but I do got to say I still love my LA girl brow pencil the most out of all brow pencils that I have ever tried you guys know that I never use primers so today I'm gonna start off with a primer this is the derma blend professional set and refresh long-lasting makeup setting spray I'm gonna kind of act as if this was a smashbox primer water because I actually feel like these can prime your face if they can set your face I'm pretty sure they can prime your face I got this in the mail from makeup forever and this is their new matte velvet skin and this is supposed to last for 24 hours this is in the shade Y305 and makeup forever also sent me this brush here with it this is their 108 straight brush so I'm excited to see how it applies the foundation so I'm gonna take it from the back of my hand and just kind of like paint it on it does make your skin look really pretty and dewy even though it says it's a velvet matte so I kind of sort of like the way that the brush applies the foundation they're supposed to go together but it does make it streaky I am a little bit scared to go in with the second coat of foundation because I feel like it just keeps breaking up on the areas where I have pimples but we do have a concealer that we do want to try out by Koki so thoughts on the matte velvet skin by makeup forever I think that it's pretty it is pretty it's more for people with flawless skin Already. I got some products from Koki. These look very interesting. These are the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealers. So I have a darker one for like all over the face and a lighter one to brighten up under my eyes. Okay, this is the darker one. I'm just going to be putting this all over my face. This is actually a really good match. And on the bridge and on my chin and on the areas where I have pimples. It does feel a little bit water-based, but we'll just see. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of that lighter shade. It does have like a very soft shell pink undertone which I don't mind because it does brighten up for sure. By the way, if you guys are wondering what blender I'm using right now, this is by Sigma. This is their 3D HD. I do have an affiliate link down below if you guys want to go and get some money off. You guys can definitely use that link. So for today's powder, I'm going to be using the Too Faced powder. This is their Born This Way one. I know I keep using this same one, but sorry, this is my favorite bronzer ever. This is the Too Faced. Dark Chocolate Soleil. Who here has listened to all of that music that dropped on that same day? Her came out. You guys know that I'm in love with her. I've been watching her and obsessing with her ever since I peeped her music on YouTube when she was like super low key. Like, like she literally only had a few hundred views and I was all this girl's amazing like what the heck where is she who is she and then she went on tour with bryson tiller which i'm so proud of her i went to go see that concert with bryson tiller and her i mostly went just because of her but i also do love bryson tiller and then astro world dropped and so did yg's album janae aiko did a collab with yg and then we have some lmi trip oh that song is on repeat right now and sabrina claudio i freaking love sabrina claudio and i believe iggy azalea came out with stuff too but i haven't heard it yet I actually have a few palettes today. I do have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, the new vault collection, and I have the Koki Peachy Queen Artist palette. And lastly, I have BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis, which is so pretty. This is going to be going all over my eyes and face. But for the blush, since I keep repeating the same blush in every single tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use Koki's Peachy Queen one. I'm going to take a mix of like these four shades right here in the corner, and I'm just going to mix them with a fluffy brush like this. And Oh, that's a pretty color. Just like a little rosy flush. Oh, that's so cute. It looks like we're actually blushing. I'm going to be using both of these palettes today just because I want to try out both consistencies. This is the Jaclyn Ring the Alarm with Morphe palette. This one, I want to just see how the colors work, it's, but I'm just going to use this for their transition shade. So I'm going to be using Rush right here, which is the lightest orange in the palette. I'll probably use it in another tutorial, but excuse me, what? She is smooth. She feels like literal butter on my eyes. And I'm just running that same shade on my lower lash line to even both the top and bottom out. 
I don't want it to be another orange eye, so I'm going to set this palette down and maybe I'll use it in another tutorial if you guys are interested. I'm going to be heading out to my BH Desert Oasis because this caught my eye as soon as I swatched them. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I did the most iconic swatches of them on my fingers. Oh my goodness. Wow, these are pigmented. So I'm excited to use this. I'm going to make it more of like a dusty brown soft shimmer eye. We'll see how it goes. So now to deepen up the crease, I'll be taking Canyon right here. But can we just take a light moment for these shades right here these are insanely pigmented let me just show you guys real quick yeah so that light brown canyon shade is just overlapping the orange that we took under and it is so pigmented guys and it feels so smooth it literally glides on like butter oh my gosh i'm getting literal chills because it looks so good it feels really nice on the skin and then again as always doing the same on the lower lash line this color right here called sandstone is like a brick peachy color and it is just so pretty i want to use it but i don't want it to go in a peachy direction so i'll use that in like another day maybe actually let's just go for it so i'm going to use the sandstone and i'm going to put that in my inner crease deepen it up a little bit make it look a little bit more burnt it's not really on the orangey side side orangey side but it does make it more burnt and very like sultry and now since we do have mattes on the lid i'm gonna go ahead and take like a yellowy shimmer shade on the brow bone so i'm gonna be taking this beautiful yellow shade right here called bliss wow i can't and then i like to blend it out with the brush that we we're blending with in the first place now we're moving on to one of my favorite parts. I'm going to be wetting my brush with the spray that we used earlier by Derma Blend. And the brush that I love to use to pack on my shadows is the Anastasia A13 brush. And I'll be going in with the shade right here called Terrain. So always remember to just do patting motions. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's it. Girl, this pigment. Do y'all hear me? BH Cosmetics is a new wave. All I got to say. Now to bring back in that burnt look, we're going back in with sandstone and blending into the outer edge just so it doesn't look like a clean cut line. So I kind of want to put something in the inner corner. I think I'm going to do the yellow that I had up here in the first place on my brow bone. I just made it look like two macaronis in my inner corner. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think that did it. I like mixed it with Serenity, which is the color right next to it, and I made it a little bit more of like a paler yellow. So for eyes and lashes, they are already on and I just decided to put on the falsies which is an OG favorite also the bold face lashes in the style the real seeker which are so pretty look at them now the part that I'm very excited for I already spritzed my face to set it and also prime it with the same derma blend product that we used earlier and now I'm gonna be going in with our desert oasis palette again and taking the biggest shade here called Mirage I've been saving this for the last because I've been wanting to see how it applies as a highlight Okay, it's there. Okay, so this highlight definitely shows up. It's bright and it's there. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit with my finger just so it doesn't look like a streak. It's just more on the drier side. It's not very buttery like other highlights, but still is pretty. It works. So now that we got our glow going on, that is pretty much it for the face, guys. We are almost done. All we have to do is choose a lippy, and I'm very excited to show you guys these three lippies that I just died for as soon as I saw them in my package yesterday. I'm hoping this Derma Blend does me good because I'm addicted to my Urban Decay All Nighter, so this one... I really hope that it does not disappoint, please. So I got three new lipsticks from Persona, and I love Persona as a company. But so they came out with three shades. These are their first lipsticks that they came out with. So these are called OG. They're all matte, and this one is called Flamingo, and this one is Holy Grail. All three of these shades would go perfectly with this look, so that's why I love using a neutral eye, so I can pretty much do whatever I want for the lip. But you guys know that I love my neutral tones, so I think I'm going to go with... OG right here. Are you freaking kidding me? Persona Cosmetics. This lip color right here, this color is beautiful and it just made my lips look so plump and luscious. It feels so comfortable on my lips. Like I would have thought that it would have felt like crackly like all the other matte lipsticks, but this one feels like velvet on your lips, but it's completely dried. So I'm going to get rid of this whole situation that I have going on here called my natural hair and in the snap of my fingers i'll be back with brand new hair and i am back with new hair you guys today i did something a little different so if you guys want to see how to do these cute little ringlet curls i do have a tutorial down below for you guys to go check out but that brings us to the end of our video and i really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing me use new products and coming up with this like 
desert oasis type look the foundation was the only thing that i was like a little bit iffy about but it does work it's just if you have pimples it probably won't work the best for you because you want a fuller coverage i want a light to medium coverage and i will talk to my angels in the next video